ocean literacy is not just about understanding, it is really about working with companies, working with academia, working with the government, and making sure that we can contribute to a sustainable ocean. Different people are more literate than other people. If you go to an ocean nation and talk to them, island nations, people there understand the ocean. It's hardwired into who they are. If you could go into COP26, there's a massive lack in terms of people's ocean literacy. They're the ones who need to make the decisions quickly at the speed, the scale we need to if we want to address the, the, the challenge that we face. If we say everyone needs to become more ocean literate, it starts with saying, how can we make this ocean a place of belonging for them too? We have a responsibility to show up and see what the community is doing, trusting that they also are able to be experts, perhaps in an African way, and it might not necessarily look Western. So how do we partner where the community is? How can we tell stories and democratize knowledge? Scientists need to be able to translate what they know into actionable evidence-based insight that can be used by politicians, it can be used by corporates, it can be used by me when I want to make a purchase. We need to do this quickly. In five years time, we're gonna double our seafood and in 10 years time, we're gonna double the whole ocean economy. So this isn't something we can hang around for and the political timetable for you know zero carbon, yes, that's gonna push something, but actually it's gonna happen a lot quicker than that.